Look at this thing, completely rhino lined. This was here back over the summer, so somebody bought it and couldn't sell it. Now they're bringing it back to the auction. Hey everyone, it's Craig from Flying Wheels. Welcome to my Flying Wheels YouTube channel. I'm at the auction today, a car dealer only auction. I know you guys love coming to the auction with me. Well, there's a truck that I'm like weirdly interested in. I saw it over the summer, now it's January. It's back at the auction, so a new car dealer was running it in January. They couldn't sell it. There it is behind me. They couldn't sell it, now it's back here in January. And I wanna know why, I wanna know what the story is, and I wanna see what it's gonna go for. And I'm like, weirdly interested in it. It's a 2015 F-150 5 liter, 66,000 miles, rhino lined on everything. If you guys have been watching my videos for a few months, you would have seen this back in August. The whole thing is paint textured everywhere, but they did a nice job actually with the color differenti dif differentiation, differ whatever, you guys know what I'm saying. All jacked up on lift with good tires, good wheels, 66,000 miles, 20 inch wheels. The truck's pretty cool. Full exhaust on it, dual exhaust all the way back. It's actually a true dual exhaust. The frame is solid. Tinted headlights, LEDs. Is it leather? Oh, it's leather. I love the blue accents. Kind of a neat little center console seat. So it's a six passenger aftermarket radio, heated and cooled seat. So this must be an FX4, I guess. 66,000 original miles. Be kind of ironic that the bed isn't bedlined. It's just plastic. They get a plastic bed liner on a bedlined truck. What I did notice is a dent up towards the roof and they painted over it so they didn't even fix that dent. Why? This thing is a mystery. It's mysterious. So it's going through, it's a 15 with 66,000 miles. So it should be green light. Green light means it's sold with a warranty up till five o'clock today. And then I can actually pay for a post-sale inspection from the auction, extra money, and they'll warranty it for seven days. As long as it's green light, we should be good to go. If there's anything wrong with it, they'll mark it as red light. And I kind of feel like this thing would have like a reconstructed title or something because of the way it's painted. Why would somebody willingly put truck bed coating on an entire truck? I'm thinking it's been in an accident. I'm thinking somebody did some shoddy body work and then covered it up with some bed liner because it hides everything. It does. Oh, it looks wonderful. 14 pounds in. You want to get the 14 pounds? What do you think? 13 pounds in. You want to get the 13 pounds? 1,200. How about 12,000 and get her going? 11, 11, 2. Oh, I'm going to bet nothing, 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 that truck was a total loss, so the reason it's vinyl lined is because somebody did some shoddy body damage, body work on it, and then it's cheaper to rhino line it than it is to paint it, and it'll cover and hide all the damage. But I bid up to 12.9. It's over 13. That's a 66,000 mile F-150 with a 5 liter, jacked up, exhaust. I still see value in it. Someone would have bought it, but I stopped at 12.9, which is probably a good thing. Post sale, at pre sale, here's that truck. So I stopped bidding at 12.9. High bid was 13 grand, so I lost it for 100 bucks. If bid, if meaning it didn't reach the seller's total price that they wanted for it, so it's still for sale. I really don't know what this thing's worth. So it has a clean title, not branded like salvage, collision, theft, any of that flood, any of that stuff. But on the auto check history report, it says total loss. So it's announced as total loss on auto check, but the hit, the title itself is clean. I don't know how that works. What is this thing worth? What would you guys pay for it? If I was gonna keep it for myself, I would absolutely buy it. Heated leather, air conditioned leather, remote starter, jacked up, pretty cool looking. You put your name on the side of it and attract some attention. But who the heck am I gonna sell this to? But a 15 F-150, five liter jacked up, is worth 14 grand all day. I don't care what the title says or what the history says about it. If it runs straight, drives straight, and is reliable, this is a lot of truck for that price range. I mean, typically if this had a clean title, regular paint, it's a 
$28,000, $30,000 truck still. What do you guys think this is worth? Should I have bought it for 13? Let's say they want 14. Is it worth 14 plus auction fees? Would you guys have bought it? Let me know what you think. Man, this one puzzles me. Probably best that I didn't buy it, but anyway, for now, so long. Thanks for watching. Always make sure to subscribe down below to get announced to get uh to watch all my other videos and then also hit the little bell down below so you get notifications every time i make a new video you can follow us on tiktok flying wheels you can follow us on instagram flying underscore wheels facebook flying wheels thanks everybody for the support and always watching my videos i'll see you later adios